Well, now to a scary looking seismic record from a sensor on Mount Rainier. Those images going viral, but scientists warning it is not what it seems. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Monique McLaughlin and I'm Mel Thomas. Now, Kyra Simmons, Madeline Audley joining us live to break down the fact from the fiction here. So Madeline, what are scientists saying? Well, I'll tell you this, El Monique, they are completely debunking the idea that we're seeing something unprecedented up there on the mountain or we're getting any closer to some sort of eruption. They say there is absolutely no reason to be worried. We know when there is actually seismic activity. It's one of the most remote seismic stations on the mountain. And on Tuesday, an unusual looking record prompted widespread concern. That panic amplified by a story published in the Daily Mail, which labeled the activity unprecedented. The problem. This whole thing is a big misunderstanding. Scientists say the station named Star is instead experiencing some sort of malfunction. It's very clear the difference between something that's uh, an earthquake signal um, or tremor in the volcano from something that it looks like a transmission problem with the data. An explanation backed up by normal readings across other seismic sensors across the mountain. Stations go out all the time. That's why we operate hundreds of them. STAR is one of the oldest stations on the mountain due for replacement in the next few years. And so the one that's in question is this one right here. Scientists think something like this might be the problem. The radio antenna is probably covered in ice and that's messing with the uh, data transmission. So anytime I see a major headline or some sort of warning, I always try to take a few steps back. Try not to panic. Jared Walters lives and works near the base of the mountain with his dog Scrappy. So I have a couple emergency bags just stored in case something happens, like my, you know, passport, all that stuff. Better to be safe than sorry. When it comes to identifying false info online, take a beat, assess the credibility of the source, and check it against official information, like from UW's Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. The whole thing is just a rumor and it's just false information. So to reiterate here, absolutely no cause for concern. I will say it's probably going to take scientists a while to go up there and actually fix that sensor because of the winter weather and just how remote of a location it is placed in. But again, fear not, because that is why they have so many up there in the first place. Live in Seattle, Madeline Adelie, Cairo, 7 News. And earlier this summer, Mount Rainier experienced the largest earthquake swarm ever recorded there. More than a thousand small quakes shook the volcano in July, passing the record set by a three day swarm there in 2009. The director of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network saying that swarm was not a reason for concern. You can